In 2008, September 2008, the world came very close to the brink of collapse. The financial markets were in trouble, the stock markets were in trouble, and families all across the world were hit at very hard financial times. My family in particular was hit at very hard financial times, as I was at that time attending university, St. Thomas University in Fredericton, New Brunswick, Canada. I remember walking that cold fall evening into the admissions office, and I had an interview with our admissions advisor, our financial advisor rather, and she sat me down and she looked me in the eye and she said, Nathaniel, you're a smart guy and you're brilliant. And while we would love to have you at the university, unfortunately, unless this bill is paid, you will no longer be able to remain a student here at St. Thomas University. My heart broke, my heart sank, and I was pretty much in a foreign country, stranded, not knowing what to do, not knowing where my next meal would come from, not knowing where I would live, and practically homeless. Thanks to the goodness of kind strangers, fellow Bahamians studying in Canada, I had a place to live, I had food to eat, and I was able to work. I actually, my first job was um, Santa Claus at the mall. I was the province's first official black Santa Claus. <laughs> and um, through that job, I was then able to buy a plane ticket home and return from my studies in New Brunswick, Canada. Ever since I got home, I went on Google, I went on Yahoo, I went on MSN search, and I pretty much began researching opportunities for young persons to go back to school. I began researching opportunities from the Bahamas government, from the Canadian government, from pretty much any and everybody that can help me financially return to my university studies in Canada. However, during my search, what I found was something that was absolutely remarkable and something that was much greater than myself. And it was the fact that there are currently 65 million children around the world that do not have access to basic primary education, either because of a lack of finances or because of a lack of a school to go to. It was in that moment my entire vision changed. I began to form an organization which I feel would reach out to those in need and to help improve the lives of young children around the world. My first venture, failed venture, was Prince Lewis Entertainment. I wouldn't, but I wouldn't quite call it a, quite a failure because at the end of the day it was a stepping stone to where we are this evening. During that time I produced a local talk show called Voice It that aired on JCN Network and it was a success thanks to my friends Utah Taylor from New Providence as well as um, Lincoln. They call him the bad man, um, Lincoln Bain. And from there, we were able to do this little talk show under the banner of Prince Lewis Entertainment. And so during my search, my Kindle for my own passion for film was realized. And that's when I thought I must create an organization that caters to both my passion for film as well as my passion for global world change. I began researching business opportunities and um, how to form a business, so forth and so on. And luckily, be it by divine intervention or the universe finally coming in line, it aligned me with some very great people, a great team of advisors, and from there, I registered my business license through the Bahamas government, and Prince Louis Projects was officially formed. I am happy to report that as of February 2012, my company officially received a self-starters grant from the government of the Bahamas on their self-starters initiative. And so that's what Prince Louis Projects is really about. Prince Louis Projects, in a nutshell, if you don't remember anything else I've said this evening, is a film studio. We make movies. We design creative works to entertain the masses and to bring smiles to the faces of adults and children worldwide. Additionally, we also create original content in film, television, and the web. We produce entertainment consumer products, such as DVDs, publications, so forth and so on. And our long-term goal is to host an annual arts and entertainment conference right here on Grand Bahama. Further, on the philanthropy side, our goal is to establish a tool buying program here in the community, which offers free school supplies for underprivileged children in Grand Bahama and throughout the Bahamas. Additionally, we want to launch a campaign each year called the Live for Literacy. It's a series of events that ultimately raise funds towards the goal of universal education and helps to fund the program. 
And finally, we want to offer free training resources for prospective filmmakers in courses of writing, directing, producing, cinematography, and all technical aspects as it relates to film. Ladies and gentlemen, Prince Lewis Projects. I hope that was enough to give you a brief overview of exactly what the company is about and shared my passion with you in hopes that you realize exactly where I'm coming from. Because ultimately, like a lot of companies are financial driven, that is, they are all concerned about the finances. At Prince Lewis Projects, we are purpose driven. We believe in a cause and we ultimately have an end goal, which is to change the world. And our small way of contributing to that change is by creating films as well as offering a campaign to advance universal education for all. That said, I wish to leave you with these final words. The fate of our future lies in the palm of our hands. We are the ones that can change the world. Long gone are the days of ill-conceived excuses, stories about misuses, a broken past, sickness, poverty, and abuses. Long gone are the days when victory we cannot taste because of your environment, home situation, gang violence, or race. Long gone are the days when the reason for unclimbed obstacles is fair, when many of life's problems have been solved with just a single idea. Long gone are the days to claim that success cannot be yet, when the simple ha use of the legs, the hands, the sound of the voice can be used as an asset. The future is bright, bright as the noonday sun, broad as the horizon separating the earth from the sky. So the next time you feel downbound, feared, scared, meek, timid, or just a little bit shy, Remember that on the inside of you lies greatness, waiting to be explored. You're a diamond in the rough, waiting to glisten and shine. You're a creator, an adventurer, an innovator, a life changer. You're a seeker, a teacher, an explorer, an entrepreneur. You're a trailblazer, a spirit raiser, a captain at the sea, and a visionary. You hold the world together like glue. You make a meaningful impact in lives, and dreams come true. You help transition the world's focus like a train going choo-choo. So whatever you do, see it through, and never, ever stop doing you. Yes, we are the ones that can bring peace in the middle of war, chair in the middle of despair, unity to exclusion, and make sense of all the world's confusion. Yes. You, you, you and I, together as one, with persistence, consistence, and tenacity, we're in it for the long run, creating a positive energy attraction, a negative subtraction, avoiding distraction, while making life for all a sweeter satisfaction. On this night, our social evolution has begun. The fate of our future lies in the very palm of our hands, and we are the ones that can change the world. Thank you.